the best bastard wedding I've ever been to in all my life. It all kicked off, didn't it? Let me set you a scene and I'll tell you why I'm in my dressing gown. So Maureen from Bingo, her daughter Teresa's getting married. Now Maureen's lovely. Wouldn't say boo to a goose. Give her the shirt off her back. That kind. Irish. I love the Irish. And she's a bleeding dab and at Bingo. And I mean dab and. She's like this. I miss out the bleeding numbers because I'm too busy talking or getting pissed. That's probably why I never win anything. Like I say, she's lovely. But her daughter, on the other hand, a spoiled, selfish little brat. She'd never get away with talking to me the way she talked to her mum. She'd get a backhander and I don't care how old you are. Never. Never in a million. She wouldn't make it to that bleeding wedding if she was my bleeding daughter. She goes to bingo, so I see her all the time. She invited me. And a plus one. I think she thought I was going to bring Barry. No. I asked Beverly, but she couldn't go, so I brought our Dorothy instead. Our Dorothy is a walking mini bar. No matter what event we're at, she comes fully prepared. And you never go first, eh? I mean, I always sneak a bottle of gin to any event. I'm not paying them prizes anyway. But her, she brought gin, vodka, whiskey, brandy, tequila, sambuca, all flasked, all labelled. I don't know where she puts it. I don't want to know either. All I know, it's a good night with our Dorothy. I fucking love her for that. Anyway, we get there and all the families turn up. All Irish. You know, it's going to be a good one. But I did notice... There was a lot of tension there. You know, bit of side eye, bit of a look. I mean, they said hello to each other, but the looks were as cold as a Mr. Frosty machine. You could cut the atmosphere with a knife. We stood there and our Dorothy leans in. She said, it's going to be a good night. I know, Dorothy. I know. So anyway, we get to the church and here comes the bride, all dressed in white. Barely! Jesus Christ, I've worn more of that in the bleeding bath. She had a slit going all the way up to a fanner. She had a sweetheart neckline and it went all the way down and wide. I could see her areolas. Her boobs are bigger than mine and mine are big. And the rest was lace, basically see-through. She might as well have walked down the aisle with nothing on. Poor Maury looked like she was going to bleed in faint. So anyway, they get the fouls over and done. Do you take? I do. Do you take? I do. You know, the usual lies. And we go to reception. I mean, thank fuck. I'm starving by now. And I'm gasping for a drink. And it was cold in that bleeding church. So they didn't have a sit-down meal because she said she couldn't afford it. Which is fair enough. I'm not judging. I mean, I didn't have much of a party at mine either. I didn't want one. I knew I was making a bleeding mistake. So we go and we fills our plates. So me and Dorothy start on our drinks. Maureen came over and said, Are you not drinking, ladies? I says, yeah, we'll get one in a minute. I'm not telling her she's got a bleeding stash. She can drink like a bleeding fish. And I wasn't going to tell her that Dorothy had more drinks of a bleeding dress than there is behind the bleeding bar. No way. We're going to get thrown out. So we sat down having a chit-chat, eating the food. I thought stuff was from Iceland. The buffet looked as cheap as that bleeding wedding dress she had on. You could see her aviolas. So I sat down and I'm thinking, some of these lot have been drinking all bleeding day. They're really pissed. So anyway, we get to the best man's speech and he is fucking shit-faced. He's swaying around. He's so drunk. He had this sheet of paper. He couldn't even read it, so he scrunched it up and threw it. Then, starts slagging off the bride, telling everyone that she's slept around and she's shagged half the bleeding guests that are in there. All of a sudden, these three burly brokes get up and jump the bastard. And it all starts, doesn't it? These women get up. They're battering each other. Even the bleeding pensioners were at it. I looked on the floor and said, what's that, Dorothy? She's a bleeding wig. I look up and there's this bald pensioner throwing her arms at the bleeding bride. There's bridesmaids being dragged across the floor by the rear. There's chairs flying around. There's cake flying around. Wine. That's why I had to come home and get changed. I was bleeding cupboard. I had loads of me bleeding air. I turn round. Dorothy's filling a bleeding bag with all the bleeding buffet and loads of bottles of wine. She had a bleeding tuna sandwich in a cup as well. I said, you better hurry up. We need to go. The police will be here in a minute and I can't be asked giving a statement. So we backed Dory. Honest to God, it was the best thing I've ever seen. Me, I love a wedding. I've been to loads, but that was the best one I've been to so far. Bleeding hell, Dorothy, how many bottles did you get?